Hello! This is Cinema 4D Quick Tips and today we will show you how to create domino effect using rigid body dynamics. First, construct a floor. For this, create a plane by clicking and holding on the cube icon and choosing plane from the pop-up palette. Go to the object tab of the plane object and increase the width and height to 700 cm. Right click on the plane in the object manager, select bullet tags and click on collider body to define the plane as obstacle. And rename the plane to floor. Next, construct a domino tile. For this, create a cube by clicking on the cube icon. Go to the object tab and reduce the size X, Y and Z to 20, 40 and 4 cm respectively. Lift the cube so that it is on the plane. To be more precise, in the coordinates tab set the PY property to 20 cm. Right click on the cube in the object manager, select bullet text and click on rigid body to define the plane as rigid object. Click on the dynamics body expression to the right of the cube in the object manager. Go to the collision tab and reduce the friction to 30% so that the domino effect runs smoothly without sticking and rename the cube to domino. To construct a row of domino tiles, create a cloner by clicking on the cloner icon, make the domino a child of the cloner, select the cloner in the object manager, go to the object tab Change the mode from grid to linear, uncheck the reset coordinates box, increase the count to 10, zero out the PY property, set the PZ property to 20 cm and zoom in the default camera. Let's make a trigger for the domino effect. For this, create a sphere by clicking and holding on the cube icon and choose a sphere from the pop-up palette. Go to the object tab and reduce the radius to 15 cm. Lift the sphere over the first domino tile and move it back slightly. Right click on the sphere in the object manager, select bullet text and click on rigid body. Press the play forwards button in the animation toolbar to see the result. Stop the animation and go to the start of the timeline. Now let's place the domino tiles along the spline to make the effect more impressive. Create a spline by clicking and holding on the rectangle icon and choosing helix from the pop-up palette. Go to the object tab, reduce the start radius to 40 cm, zero out the height, change the plane to XZ, and check the reverse box to reverse the point order of the spline so that the domino tiles lie on the spline rather than underneath it. Select the cloner in the object manager, go to the object tab, change the mode from linear to object, drag and drop the helix object into the object field and increase the count to 100. Select the sphere in the object manager, Switch to the top view in the viewport. Drag the sphere so that it is slightly behind the first tile. Return to the perspective view. Extend the timeline to 300 frames. And click on the play forwards button. Stop the animation and go to the start of the timeline. Finally, let's color the scene. For this, open the Material Manager, create a new standard material by going to Create menu, selecting Classic Material and click on New Standard Material. Change the color of the material to red and apply the material to the domino. Then create another material Change its color to white 
and apply it to the floor. Further, create a thought material. Double click on the material preview, go to the color, click on the small triangle to the right of the texture, select the gradient from the drop down menu, click on the gradient, press the load preset button and select the gradient that will allow you to track the rotation of the sphere, for example pattern 2. Close the material editor and apply the material to the sphere. Close the material manager and press the play forwards button. Thank you for your attention, subscribe to the channel and put your finger up.